Hello, Alloy7 community, BC, and the rest of YouTube. It's Alice, and I'm gonna do a little decorating on a recent build I started while I'm talking to you guys today. Um, personal note first, I know you've probably heard me say at the beginning of practically every video that I've done how sick I've been and apologizing for my voice. Um, it's true. My husband and my kids have been bringing home all sorts of nasty bugs that I've been like permanently infected with it seems and it started to cause a lot of physical troubles. Um, my husband and I have been trying for another baby for some time now and um, uh, we thought it had happened. And then my body said, just kidding. So we're kind of back to square one on that. And my schedule is going to be a little messed up because of it. I was hoping to actually get the schedule correct for once. And it's just not going to happen yet. I'm okay. But I am going to need to kind of take care of him and make sure he's all right while we're getting through that. So, I'll be around-ish, but not as much as I'd like to be, because I do enjoy hanging out with you guys and talking about my video games. But this week's prompt, now I'll get all that personal craps out of the way, is uh, whether or not you can outgrow video games. And after spending a lot of time thinking about this week, I can say, yeah, I do actually think it's possible and it's not necessarily that I think that I have outgrown gaming completely, obviously. Um, it's still probably my favorite hobby for, for entertainment. And it's something that I'm really passionate about. Something that I follow very closely as far as development and the companies that I enjoy. <clears throat> However, that said, I do feel sometimes like maybe... There are certain games that I enjoyed in the past that don't fit my life anymore. So I suppose you can say they've been outgrown, but I don't necessarily feel like I've outgrown them as much as I just don't have time for them anymore or they don't fit where my life is right now. They don't fit the the kind of person I am right now. Like. I, uh, I, I grew up with the platformers. I'm old enough to have been very, very, very young when I started playing things like Mario. And uh, those were a big, big, big part of my life. And I'm really happy that I had the experience with them that I did. Uh, I don't enjoy them now, though. I cannot get on a platformer unless I'm just doing something with my husband or my kids and actually find myself enjoying it. I just, I don't. And that's so sad to say because they are something that I did so much as a child. And now I, I don't feel like there's any point. I have to feel like there's some kind of development. And maybe it does have a little bit as far as, you know, you get better at the game and things of that nature. But that's just, it's not enough for me. I don't know why. It's just, it doesn't work for me. It's not enough. <laughs> I need to have uh, a little more in my game than that. And uh, another one is MMOs, and I, I don't think I've outgrown MMOs. I still follow them. I still am occasionally involved in them, but I do not do the things in them now that I would have, you know, five, ten years ago. In EverQuest and EverQuest 2, I would have been a pretty hardcore role player, and I'm talking about don't call me by my real name. Don't uh, don't go out of character with me. This is my life and this is what I enjoy. And I was like the hardest of the hardcore. I had a role playing in in EverQuest 2 because there was housing. So I did this big tavern where everybody could get together and have events before that was really a popular thing to do. And I was very proud of that. I was very happy with that, um, that life I was leading. But it really wouldn't work now. Honestly, it, it, it just wouldn't work for me. When I'm in a game, I'm more focused on the development and the accomplishment than I am necessarily the, 
the, the story, I guess. I love stories in role-playing games, but in the MMOs, it's like, I want my story in the quests. But it's so quick to a level a character up now that I don't feel much of a point to role-playing that character because there's it doesn't feel like you connect with them as much as you would have in in previous years. You know, it doesn't take forever to level up a character uh, like it did in the original EverQuest. You made that connection with that character because that was your character for a good long while. And I think on another part is, you know, I I just don't have it in me anymore. I don't have it in me to uh, to make the kind of storyline developments that I would have in previous parts of my life. Oh, what kind of hot mess did that turn into? We'll figure it out. Um, so while I don't feel like I've outgrown games, I certainly do occasionally feel like I don't belong in certain ones sometimes. How are we going to get rid of this? And the same goes with, you know, there was that discussion that went on about the JRPGs. And the more I go through them, like, I still love things like Shadow Hearts. Um, but I don't feel like dropping 100 hours into it like I would have in a previous life. And uh, so... I don't feel like I've outgrown gaming, but I feel like I need a different kind of game now than I would have before in order to be happy with it. So I uh, gave you all my dirty secrets. Now I would love to know what you think. I'm going to go ahead and finish this build. Maybe I'll speed build the rest of the decorating. And uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Bye, guys.